Zero. All right, welcome back to the Blacksmith Shop. Uh, I'm Casey Marshall, and today we're working on a little bit of an update for the Dutch oven cooking stand. So um, part of our stand is actually off with Lynn. Lynn is off today. And the other part is what I was going to showcase last week, and that's these lovely pokers. These will eventually be our hind feet to our stand. So what he's got today is what we worked on last time with the, with the feet. Um, he'll be probably stretching that out just a little bit at his home forge, and then we'll come and punch a hole. And these are way too long. They're not meant to be uniform. We'll cut them off to fit. What I'll do is the other pieces you saw in our last video, we'll scoot right up next to them. We'll cut off the excess and paint it around. And then we decide how tall we need this leg to be, we'll bend that foot back down. So be watching for that. That's probably what we're going to do next week is either punch some of the holes or get these ready for uh, the stand on our Dutch oven cooking stand. But while we're waiting on that, let's talk about some other accoutrements that go with it. You saw us uh, make the spit a little while back. Well, this is good, but if we're going to be hanging stuff from it, we need a variety of hooks to go along with the different sizes. If we ever need to get real low, we'll have a trivet. So today, all I'm going to do on camera is another one of these hooks. I wanted different sizes, but this one should match that, at least I hope. That way, cooking different things, different sizes, it can work. No starters. I need to put on the curl. So I do want to end tapered. You've seen me taper for a nail before. So all I'm going to do is work on putting on that curly Q tail first. Start by bringing that down on my anvil and then tapping it around. The funny part about this is I need to be able to get a good armpit on my tongs to butt up the gits. So I'm slowly curling that tail around. And I've cooled off. I'll get it back in. That curly cheek tail is kind of poor design, but it also keeps from a uh, pointy edge being out where you could possibly get a finger or something like that stuck. It, it, uh, I'll bend it back around into there and hold it tight. So I don't want that hook catching somebody, so um, tapping it around, working it back into itself. Curling it around. Ta-da! See? Now I need to put in my S. And for that, I get to use a hardy hole tool that we don't often showcase, but I actually like to use. It's a good set of fingers. But what's good about them is they're solid, so as I just heat up that Look, I'm no longer working on the curl. As a matter of fact, I'll dip the curl real fast to make sure it is cold before I use it as a bending uh, hold. You notice it's hot. I don't want that part to move, so I'll just dip it real fast. It turns black, and now I don't mind sticking it in here. To bend it around. Since I've got that bent around, this held steady. Tap straighten that just a little bit. Now I gotta finish the other end of the hook. Get that officially where I want it to be. Pull that end off so I don't intend to bend that anymore. Now I gotta bend the other side back around and make it an S. Remember I want it to match this. We're pretty close to it. Actually, I'm gonna throw this, I'm not throwing it in the fire, I'm throwing it on top because we'll talk about what I need to do with it afterwards. So you notice I put it right up here. If you can see it, I don't know if the camera is just showing a big fireball or not. Where I have that just sitting, getting warm, not hot. Plenty enough 
it might get warmer faster than the other pieces. I don't want it to get the forging temperature, I just want to get it warm. I'm going to let that other piece soak for a second, but I don't burn it. Now that this is warm, you can see the steam coming off of it and everything. Stay right there. I'm going to grab a beeswax candle and put a little bit on it. It's kind of like a, a finish or a wood finish. You know, you put wood finish on a piece of furniture to make it nice and shiny. I'm not necessarily hoping to make this shiny, but in putting a little bit of wax, it's not going to melt over a fire. It'll help keep these ropes from, hooks from getting rusty too fast. The thing about it, you leave something in the yard, it'll rust real, real quick. Here, this won't rust as fast if I let some of that wax cook on. It's nice and shiny now, but once it cools, it'll stay black. So, one done. See how much it soaked up. Oh, it soaked up good heat. So, did that curl again. Actually, I'm going to change the way I hold it real quick because I want to hold it like that. Stick it in my fingers and my anvil, not my actual fingers. Nobody panic. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. It's bending around. Yeah. Want to just a little bit there. Now notice I need to bring that back around a little bit, not a big deal. It's a very easy thing to do. Straighten that up. I did the other side. Let's see how that hangs. See, I'm not worried about a pot coming off of there or anything like that, so I may just leave it alone. Now, I'll let that cool because it's still red hot. You can see some red heat on it. I'll let it cool for just a couple seconds. I'm not going to quench it. And I'll hit it with the same wax I hit before. Now, we've been doing really good about being here every Tuesday. I apologize for us not having a video last week. We were swamped. Last week, I think I counted 16 Smiths and 28 visitors came through the blacksmith shop while we were here on a Tuesday. And we never got the opportunity to take a break and make a video like this. So that's wonderful. Please come and see us on a Tuesday. Or make sure you check out our special events. Here pretty soon we're going to have our second Friday art night again. Um, so we'll have folks out here. We'll have uh, the museum open late. And then don't miss our third Saturday programs. Our third Saturday is when we have everybody in costume. Bring out the family. Come do some hands-on activities and get to learn some Arkansas history. That said... That's probably ready for me to wax. I'm going to get on started with that. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, look forward to seeing you. Please come and see us at the Historic Arkansas Museum. From Museum, I'm Casey. Hey. Is it the bottom for a post? There we go.